Welcome to boost your Skyrim stability, essential mods and tweaks for bug fix, and improve FPS. If you've played Skyrim for any length of time, you've probably encountered some bugs and performance issues that can really detract from your gaming experience. But fear not, we're here to help. In this video, we'll cover some essential mods and tweaks that will help stabilize your game, fix bugs, and improve your FPS. Whether you're a veteran player or new to Skyrim, these tips and tricks are sure to enhance your gaming experience. Are you tired of getting stuck in the full Gunther boss fight in your Skyrim playthroughs? Have you ever encountered a bug that caused the fight to run endlessly, ruining your gaming experience? Well, worry no more. The Full Gunther Boss Battle Script Fix is here to save the day. The Full Gunther Boss Fight is a challenging encounter in Skyrim that requires players to face off against Mikril Galderson and his 10 Draugr Thrall teammates. The fight is structured in a way that Mikril is supported by up to three Thralls at any given time, and if any of them die, they get replaced by another one until there are no more Thralls left to support them. However, due to a scripting bug in the vanilla game, the fight can get stuck in an infinite loop if Mikril dies too quickly or in a specific way. Thankfully, the Full Gunther Boss Battle Script Fix addresses this issue and provides players with a seamless and bug-free experience. The mod does not require an ESP file and has three primary features. Firstly, it prevents the fight from getting stuck in the first place. By fixing the scripting bug, the fight will no longer get stuck even if Mikril dies quickly or in a specific way. Secondly, it restores and improves Bethesda's failsaves, allowing the fight to get paused if you decide to leave the area and resumed once you return without stopping the Thrall support system. Finally, if players install the mod on a save where the fight is already stuck, an optional file can retroactively stop and clear it from the active scripts in their save. This mod is particularly useful for players who have already encountered the Full Gunther boss battle bug and are unable to progress in their game. By retroactively stopping and clearing the active scripts in their save, they can continue playing without losing progress or having to start over. In conclusion, the Full Gunther boss battle script fix is a must-have mod for anyone who wants to enjoy the Full Gunther boss fight without the risk of it getting stuck in their save. It's easy to install and doesn't require an ESP, making it a convenient and hassle-free solution for Skyrim players. In this time, we'll be taking a look at DLC 2 Mirak Script Fix, a mod that fixes an issue with the script that controls Mirak's arrival and disappearance after he steals Dragon Souls from you in the Dragonborn DLC. The issue with the vanilla script is that it uses a while loop without any leeway, which can cause it to take up all of the game's scripting resources and potentially wreck the scripting engine. This is especially problematic if you're using a mod that improves script execution and throughput. The DLC 2 Mirak Script Fix mod reworks the while loop to add a small delay and an internal failsafe that will shut it down after two minutes if something goes wrong with it. This prevents it from taking up all of the game's scripting resources and causing the scene to get stuck. This mod doesn't require an ESP file, so you don't have to worry about it conflicting with other mods. It's a simple fix that addresses a serious issue that can cause major problems in your game. If you're experiencing issues with Mirak stealing Dragon Souls and the scene getting stuck, I highly recommend downloading the DLC 2 Mirak Script Fix mod. It's a small but important fix that will save you a lot of frustration and potentially save your game from breaking. The Nachardak dungeon in the Dragonborn DLC features door seals that prevent players from opening the door on the other side until the seal is opened first. However, this script can enter an infinite loop when used by other mods, causing game-breaking issues. This mod fixes the issue by adding additional checks to prevent the script from entering an infinite loop and shutting down any active instances of the script that are stuck. No ESP is required. The problem with the original script is that it checks if the 3D object of the seal is loaded before processing any further updates. If the object isn't loaded, the script updates itself every 0.1 seconds until it finally loads and then proceeds. However, if the seal is disabled by another mod, its 3D object will never load, and the script will enter an infinite loop. This mod fixes the issue by adding checks to see if the object is disabled and stopping the updates after a maximum of two minutes. This will prevent the script from taking up papyrus resources unnecessarily. 
Additionally, if you install this mod on an existing save, it will shut down any active instances of this script that are stuck. Therefore, this mod will improve the stability and performance of your game when using mods that affect the Chardak door seals in the Dragonborn DLC. Have you ever been playing Skyrim's Dragonborn DLC and experienced sudden FPS drops near the Seekers? It might not be your computer's fault. The issue could be with a problematic script called DLC2 Dunseeker Invis Script. This script controls the Seeker's ability to go invisible and quickly close the distance to attack you. However, its implementation is flawed and can cause unnecessary stress on your system. But fear not! The Seeker Invis Script Fix mod is here to save the day. By replacing the inefficient while loop with periodic updates through Register for Single Update, this mod will greatly reduce the stress on your system and prevent FPS drops. Say goodbye to those frustrating FPS drops and enjoy a smoother, more enjoyable Dragonborn DLC experience with the Seeker Invis Script Fix mod. Download it today and start exploring Apocrypha without any worries. As you may know, the werebears in the game can rush towards you and transform into their animal form, catching you off guard. However, the original script that controls this behavior is flawed and can cause problems with the game's performance. One of the issues with the tribal werebear script is that it starts updating as soon as the werebears are loaded in, regardless of whether or not you're actually in combat with them or even aware of their presence. This means that the script is constantly updating in the background, causing unnecessary strain on the game's performance. The Tribal Werebear script fix optimizes the script so that it only starts updating when the werebears are actively searching for the player or in combat with them, thus reducing the strain on the game's performance. Another problem with the original script is that it can get stuck in certain situations, such as when you revisit an area where the werebears were encountered. Even if the werebears have been killed or despawned, the script can still attach and update itself to non-existent werebears, causing issues with the game's stability. The Tribal Werebear script fix retroactively stops all currently stuck instances of the script in your game, ensuring that the script doesn't cause any further issues. The best part about this mod is that it doesn't require an ESP, which means it won't take up any additional space in your load order. Have you ever found your FPS dropping to unplayable levels while exploring the Soul Cairn in Skyrim? Well, you're not alone. This issue is caused by two separate scripts, DLC 1 Crystal Drain Health Check Script and DLC 1 Random Lightning Strike Trig Script. But fear not, because this mod reworks these scripts to greatly improve performance. The DLC 1 Crystal Drain Health Check Script was a complete mess, but it has been fixed to stop spamming errors, multiplying itself, and getting stuck on dead NPCs. The DLC 1 Random Lightning Strike Trig script has also been tweaked to reduce stress on the scripting engine. Both scripts have been replaced with scheduled periodic updates through Register for Single Update, so they only update when they need to, reducing the strain on your system. With these tweaks, you can explore the Soul Cairn without worrying about your FPS dropping to unplayable levels. And the best part? This mod doesn't require an ESP, so it won't conflict with other mods you may have installed. So give the Soul Cairn Script Tweaks mod a try and improve your Skyrim gameplay experience. The Shroud Hearth Barrow is a dungeon with a small chance of a big bug. When you come across the trap near the end, you'll encounter four draugers, and a script will lock both the front and back doors. However, there's a chance that the script can get stuck in a loop if one of the doors is opened before the lock version is swapped in. This bug can remain in your save file forever, and that's where this mod comes in. This mod tweaks the script so that if one of the doors gets opened before the lock version is swapped in, the script will close the door again and prevent the bug from happening. If you're one of the unlucky few that already has the bug in your save file, you can either go back to the dungeon and close both doors again, or you can download the optional file that will fix the problem for you. No ESP required. And that's it for our guide on boosting your Skyrim stability. We hope these tips and mods will help you get the most out of your game without the frustration of constant crashes, bugs, and low FPS. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Skyrim content. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and happy gaming!